Hello and uh, welcome to my channel. Now today we're going to review the folding karambit made by Fox Knives. This is the model number 478 and uh, we're going to go over some of its features. Now first of all I'm really impressed by the build, the fit and finish, the materials, the design and overall the way it fits in my hand. Uh, I've got a lot of pros for this product. Now this is a product that's made in Italy and they're really well known for their, craft, their craftsmanship, as you may know. Um, this is, however, my very first karambit, and uh, I'm glad I finally got one. Now, let's go over uh, some, uh, some of its features real quick. You got your pocket clip here. Now, this is designed for tip-up carry only. It is, however, reversible for left and right carry. You can place this clip on this side, as you can see here, if you so desire. You got your finger ring or retention ring here. The blade lock is made by a liner lock. It's uh, not the beefiest liner lock out there, but it gets the job done every single time. It hasn't failed on me once. Right? It features the Emerson Wave. Now, this is a feature that allows for fast blade deployment. This uh, small bump here will latch onto the edge of your pocket as you drag the knife out and uh, open up the blade. And uh, as you saw a bit earlier, you also got a small flipper, flipper tab here. Oh. This way. And also a spider coat type hole here for opening. Now, uh, here's how a draw looks like featuring the Emerson Wave. This knife uh, weighs at around 4.85 ounces or 137 grams. It has a 6061 T6 aircraft grade aluminum handle scales. Uh, the AL aluminum scales uh, provide less traction against the inside of the pocket when uh, fast draws are made compared to the model which comes with G10 scales. Now, everything about this knife is excellent. There is uh, absolutely zero blade play. The lock up is solid and uh, it came razor sharp straight out of the box. Now we're just gonna do a quick cutting test. There we go. Let's see. On here. Good. Every single time. Gets the job done. Oh. It latched onto, okay. One more. Okay, now um, the total open length is uh, 7.6 inches or uh, 193 millimeters and the total close length is 5.3 inches or 134 millimeters. Now the 478 was uh, designed by Fox, which is based in Italy as I was saying. It was originally designed for the Italian Special Forces and it was designed uh, to be used while wearing tactical gloves. Hence, uh, the increased uh, handle length, as you see, as you can see here, there's a bit of space here. Now, the talon shaped blade has a single sided edge that's 3.2 inch long or A1 millimeter long. Uh, it is made out of bowler and 690 which offers uh, really good edge retention it is an, it has anti corrosive and anti stain properties and its uh, hardness sits at around 59 to 60 rockwell now um, as you can see the finger choils are very wide spaced you need to have abnormally large hands in order to get a super comfortable grip bare hands and uh, to be honest, my hands are fairly large, but you can still uh, get a strong and confident grip if you hold it this way. And uh, I'll show you how it looks with uh, gloves on as well. Put on a glove. There. Now this is way better. Sits in real nice in my hands. Now, uh, 
Foxtrot has also made a num model number 599, which uh, has a, a shorter handle. It is uh, about one inch shorter, one inch shorter. And uh, it's basically designed for bare hands use. In other words, the grip's a bit more ergonomic. It will fit uh, a bit better in your hands. And it's a better choice for folks with uh, smaller hands overall. Um, this knife's market as having three main uses. It is a self-defense weapon, a martial arts tool, and also a great utility blade. Now, uh, in the box, it also comes with a small torx wrench. It has uh, one side for uh, tightening the pivot screw on the blade, right here. And uh, another side for these uh, small handle screws, or for changing the pocket clip. Now this uh, re this knife retails for about $140 uh, US, which is not cheap, but it is an investment which will last you for years if properly maintained. Uh, of course you can find it uh, cheaper off retails or in second hand markets, but in my opinion it is well worth its pricing uh, for what you're getting in the end. Now uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about this knife. Thank you for watching my review. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and comment below for any questions regarding this video. And uh, I'll see you in another review. Bye.